Hi, I'm here, and uh, I had some uh, questions uh, from several people about uh, the copper wire uh, that I'm using, uh, the flux detector, and uh, they asked me if there were uh, influences from the uh, area, uh, influences of the motor, and influences of the spinning uh, metallic uh, sphere. Um, uh, maybe it could uh, interfere the signal on the scope. But I have a setup now uh, with a digital scope, and it's set on uh, 100 uh, millivolts. There are uh, some. There is uh, some uh, noise uh, in it. When I set it in uh, five millivolts, that's uh, the noise of the uh, area um, okay. in, in, uh, 50 millivolts now uh, when I uh, connect the motor I have an influence on it uh, yeah it's um, a signal uh, I get from the uh, power supply, I think, through the power supply. And so it's um, 100 millivolts. Uh, when there is uh, some uh, resistance, uh, I get uh, more noise. See? But the thing is, when I connect the uh, reactor with it, the influences don't change. Okay. It only has uh, more, a little bit more noise because because uh, it takes more current and uh, there is more uh, resistance. So I have a little bit more uh, noise in it, but it has not uh, influences on the part. Okay. So I had a question from someone who asked me if the uh, sphere in interferes the signal uh, without uh, the vacuum and without the gases. So I have uh, have a setup here with uh, open valves and a spinning uh, sphere, and uh, maybe I can mount the uh, the motor again and let it run. That's right. I try to set the speed on the um, Five hundred uh, runs a minute. I look at the uh, look at the influence on uh, the slope.
Oh, I have uh, 500 rounds a minute. Okay. The probes are connected, set on 100 millivolts. I'm going to put it on 200 millivolts. Right there. And the noise from it is 400 uh, millivolts now. So now we know that, and uh, we're gonna see if there are uh, some other things. Uh, and when there are something else uh, happening inside, uh, we're going to see it on the scope. Okay. So now I'm going to load the uh, sphere with um, gases. I have um, hydrogen, argon and uh, helium and also uh, uh, regular air of course. Um, I'm going to look at it, uh, what, I, what I have to do uh, for the, um, the loads. And, uh, I can come back later and uh, show you uh, what I've been doing and uh, with some uh, results maybe. Okay. Bye. See you later.